Autodesk Inventor has a feature called Adaptivity. Uh, with this adaptivity, uh, if you've, you know, when you're creating new components within a, in, a, in an assembly, uh, you can project geometry of other features, and then by and, and then create your new components with these newly created projected geometry. Now, what happens with adaptivity is you can go and manipulate or control that second component that you're creating uh, from the first component that has been created. And that second component, by the way, will not have any dimensions or anything like that. Another way to use adaptivity is also within in, in, in sub-assemblies that sit in, a, in an assembly. So, for instance, with this, this assembly that I have over here, uh, you want the, the person to, to go in or out. Unfortunately, uh, with this, it won't. So, I mean, and if I had to go and open up that, uh, that sub-assembly over here into its own assembly, you'll see there that it is able to move. So, how do we get it to move within the assembly? First, we can use adaptivity. So if I go off and right click on the, uh, the assembly in the browser, you'll see that it becomes adaptive and you'll know it's adaptive by these two arrows that are moving around here or, you know, sort of positioned next to the, the, the assembly icon. Now what happens is when I go and you can see there, I can move that piston in and out. Now what happens when I bring in a, another sub-assembly? Okay. So, you know, if you have two sub-assemblies like, or two pistons like this, what happens is, you know, the one, you know, might only sort of go in halfway, the other one might go in all the way. So, if I go and my, my, my sort of first guess would be to make it adaptive, but I can't make it adaptive. And the reason is that this part is adaptive and it will take all its uh, sort of properties from this one over here. Now, when I move it, you'll see that both move at the same distance which is not really what I want because I want them to move independently from each other so what I can do is we've got another feature in Inventor called flexible so if I go and make this flexible you'll see there that I can manipulate the piston the movement of the piston and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make the other one flexible as well and with this one I can also manipulate it so let's go ground this quickly it doesn't move all over the place. So there it moves independently to the first one. So just quickly there, I've shown you the difference between adaptivity and flexibility um, and how we can take advantage of, of the features in Inventor. Thank you very much.